hey guys welcome back to iXoft original and today is another exciting day for us to um, get going with this awesome antivirus software okay so let me take this opportunity to apologize to all my subscribers and my followers who always follows my video this smart protector software um, has been in decade um, for a long time we, we we planned completing this project but quite unfortunate um, I got a little bit problem which I have to solve so um, I couldn't proceed okay so this this is what actually happened um, I lost my computer I mean I, I lost my laptop so um, all my project and everything was lost so I couldn't find any ways and means to continue the project. That is the reason why this smart protector software have taken a longer time for it to be um, for it to be done. Yes. Yeah, so um, hold and behold, um, I've gotten a MacBook Pro. So I have installed um, um, I have installed Windows 10 using using Parallel on my MacBook. So. Um, I requested for the project file from one of my friends or one of my subscribers whom uh, who downloaded the free source code I added earlier on and he gave me the source code so I have to go back to the source code and then continue from there so I just opened the project and it is working perfectly fine so I apologize for um, for the project being taking long time for it to you know to to be done yeah so sorry for that okay so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share and also leave any comment below the description so that it can be readable for you okay so what are we going to do today today we are going to add 30 days trial 30 days trial to our to our software when someone is using the software the person should be able to purchase for your products right and um, in this video, we're going to add a 30 days trial to our project. Bear in mind that this project is going to be awesome. We are going to um, add up a lot of features to this, which is going to be very, very interesting. So it is going to work perfectly fine. There are a lot of comments. People are saying the project is not going to work. Uh, don't worry. I lost my computer, I lost everything, and now Microsoft Original is back. Okay, so with no further delay, let's get started. This is my home page, and as you can see, when I start the software, let me enter into my full screen mode so that you could see whatever I'm doing clearly. So when I launch the software, you could you could see that uh, the software is quite responding very, 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 very good. So we're going to add the 30 days trial to this project okay um, so let's quickly um, see how the project works and let's take a good look at it then let's proceed from there right Okay, so um, because we are running um, the project on, um, let's say, uh, a virtual device, is 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 going to reduce the performance a little bit. But as you can see, everything is quite working interesting. Everything is quite working interesting. So we are going to find a way to um, we're going to find a way to add a thirty days trial to this project and. We deduct this 30 days by one. So a minute, guys. Let me get back to you in no time, right? A minute. Okay, so sorry guys. Um I had a call and I have to respond to the call. Sorry. Okay, so um let's get started right now. We we want to add 30 days trial to this project, then we deduct um this number by one. So this is what we're gonna do. Just um, let's close the software, and in here we're gonna do some little things right here. So 
the, the, these are very basic things you have to know but it comes along with some techniques which we will be using a lot so based on this okay let's enter into um, the view code mode and we have the view code right here good so in here that is where we're gonna start everything right okay so good before we do that um, let's go to our project and go to our smart protector properties right so from the property section we just have to add up some, set, some settings and these settings are going to store our um these settings are going to store our month year days and um you know all those things they are going to store that right okay so now let's say for the first one that is going to be the day so let's say day right okay then uh, we come to month so okay then we come to the year right then um i would like to add one more um let's say um valid validation yeah so this validation is is not going to be a strange but it's going to be a boolean right a boolean is basically you know it's either true or false right a boolean is either true or false so the validation is going to tell the system whether um whether it's, it's um it's up to the month or not good so whilst we have this let's go back to our main form and in this main form let's declare some statements right here so we're just going to say then they are strange right then we say them month are strange and them year are strange right so we have this right here and and these are very very interesting these are very very important that is what we are going to call whenever um, the software starts so let's see something from here um, make sure you have the form event selected then from the load event that is this right okay so let's come down here and let's create um before we do that let's create a private sub a private sub and that is going to be um let's say trial so let's say trial underscore validation right and that is going to be trial validation so in within this trial validation that is where we're going to specify richard that is where we're going to specify um the days and then the months right so we're just going to say day is equals to my dot computer dot clock right my dot computer dot clock dot local time oh come on so it's gonna be dot local time dot day right okay then we're gonna say month so which is what we declared earlier on so month is gonna be the same thing equals to mine dot computer dot clock dot local time dot month right then um we're just gonna um declare the year as well so the year the year is gonna be the same thing that is gonna be my dot computer dot clock dot local time dot year right okay so whilst we have this i believe um we 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 are somehow good to go we can add up a, a lot of things to this and that can be quite interesting good so we're gonna use if statement to um, work along with this so that it's gonna be somehow interesting so this is what we're gonna do with this we just have to specify some if statements to see whether the validation is working so we're just gonna say if um, my dot computer dot clock oh no if my dot settings right if my dot settings dot um, 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 
if mine dot settings dot validation right equals to false then this should happen right so if mine dot settings dot validation equals to false then we're just going to say mine dot settings dot day equals to day right and we just say mine dot settings dot month equals to month then we say mine dot settings dot year equals to year then we just say okay then if this is what happens then we should say that mine dot settings dot validation equals to true that means the timer have just started so we will say else if year equals to mine dot settings dot year then so we got we're just gonna say if the year is gonna be um if mind of settings is up to year then we're gonna say if month equals to mind dot settings dot month then we're just gonna say else if month equals to mind dot settings dot month then so we're just gonna say um if day right equals to mine dot settings dot day then so is this gonna pop up a message box telling the person that uh, okay um we're just gonna say um um trial expired or trial is over or trial expired right so please um let's say maybe please um enter your purchase code um to unlock good so something like this and we're just going to use um um a message box style right so it's got it's just going to be msg box style that information and we're just gonna say um, um, validation good okay so we have this right here and after that we're just gonna say else so we pop up the same message so just have to um, copy the whole message to the validation copy that and let's come down here and let's paste it once again and we will say that okay else so we will say that um else if um month equals to less than mine dot settings mine um mine dot settings dot month right plus one so just gonna say um plus one then if it's gonna be um plus one then we're just gonna say okay so from here for the month from here for the month we just have to specify the month right so we're just gonna say if a month is is equals to um, plus one that means we have um the month to be added by one right so we're just going to say if the month is plus one then this is what is it's supposed to uh, be right and then we say um if the month is plus one right then we say if day equals to mind or setting the day then this message to pop up else so let's add if statement here so else if day if day is greater than so we're just gonna say if day is greater than um mine dot settings mine dot settings dot day then this message is gonna pop up right so then this message is gonna pop up okay 
so okay so if it is day then this message should pop up right so that is why we come here then we say else if month right so we're just gonna say if month is equals to um plus one then it should pop up a message box which is gonna be the same thing so we're just gonna paste the same message box here okay so from this section basically it's very simple so we're just gonna say um else it should pop up a message box telling the person the same thing that your validation is being expired right okay so i believe i believe you understand um what i'm trying to say here okay so now we have this validation let's try to solve this guy right here so one end if is missing so we just have to delete this let's send it to the to the bottom so we come here then we add one end if so that is awesome and interesting so we have this right here and this is very very interesting so these are the codes for the validation right good so um we can't wait till a month before we continue but i i i hope this video or this um, um tutorial or these codes are gonna work for the validation so um what we're gonna say is um we're just gonna set up the day and um the month in our next project right okay so i would like to keep this video quite short and simple for today so that on our next lesson we go, we're just going to see how we could implement the deduction of um this 30 days trial okay so my name still remains like software original and um guys i'm very sorry if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave any comment below the section and as well as download link is being posted in the description below for all the updated um, version of this particular project okay so um, if you find any difficulties try to hit me up I'm gonna help you out and on our next lesson we're going to see how we could work within the um, buy premium and then the trial version Okay, so until we meet again, have a nice day and iSoft Original is out.